Welcome back, my lovelies. This is round two of my impromptu video. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix a broken nail. I actually just filmed this and the method that I used did not work. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what I did uh, and then we're going to film what actually works. Um, so first thing, to fix a broken nail, several methods. I've used the method um, where you use a tea bag to seal a crack in a nail. Um, there are so many videos on YouTube that show that. So if that is something that you're interested in, um, let me know and I can do a video for you or just search on YouTube for the tea bag method. Something I like is some, I found um, this IBD Beauty Nail Filler Powder and it's clear. Um, so what you need is this little bottle of nail filler powder, nail glue, a file if you need, this is just in case you need to reshape your nail. Um, but really, you just need like a buffing block. I used this 220-280 buffer uh, because it was on my desk. So I'm going to use that one. Uh, let me show you the product that I just used that did not seal my crack properly. I used the IBD Brush on Gel Resin. This got very high reviews on both the IBD website and the... Uh, and on Amazon, the Amazon, on Amazon, um, I find that this does not dry very quickly. It says five seconds, um, but it takes quite a few minutes to dry. And for me, it did not seal this crack that I'm about to show you. So I just soaked it off with acetone for about five minutes. Um, and now we're going to uh, fix my nail again. So I'm actually going to use their brush on nail glue. This nail glue is great. I use Kiss nail glue all the time. Um, any nail glue will work. So let me show you on my thumb, I actually have a crack that I have been nursing for about a month. The crack is right here and you can see this sort of milky, um, milky patch around it. That's what it dries to. Okay, and usually I will uh, paint my nails so you don't really see that. And actually, I've done a French manicure, and you haven't been able to see it once I put my top coat on. Um, so what I like to do is, you know, sometimes if you break a nail, you can just file everything else down and match them up. But sometimes, as in the case, like my thumb, this originally broke down here. I don't know how it happened. I don't remember hitting anything, but it broke down here. That's way beyond my, you know, my nail bed. That would have hurt. <laughs> so now the crack is up here. So we've had about um, three, four weeks of growth. And you can see uh, the powder really um, seals it off. So I was just doing dishes and I noticed that I got a little crack here. Let's zoom in, see if we can zoom in. I got a little crack here on my pinky. Yes, my nails are in terrible shape. Please ignore. I got a crack on my pinky. It always happens on the side. And I, um, I don't really feel like cutting everything off. I'm enjoying my length. When I put nail polish on, I feel like my nails look very pretty. Um, so I'm, I don't wanna cut it off. So what we're gonna do, really simple. This is something that you can pop these four things in your purse um, or in a travel bag or whatever. Um, so if you're on vacation and you crack a nail, you can fix your nail easy peasy um, or at work or whatever. Really, you don't necessarily need a file. Um, I use it because, you know, I'll file the shape. Um, but for, you know, if you don't, that's fine. You need a buffer, powder, and the nail glue and a paper towel. So, easy process. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the glue on the bare nail. Oh, and I should say, there's no pre-buffing involved. You don't need to buff your nail like you would um, if you're gonna put on a gel manicure or dip manicure or whatnot. So, just nail. I would, of course, take any, you know, if you've got, if you just put lotion on, I would kind of rub it with rubbing alcohol to get that off, but um, not a lot of nail prep needed. We're gonna put glue over this. Then we're gonna shake some powder out onto it. Tap all the excess powder off, put glue over it, let it dry, and then we will come back, file it up to make sure it looks pretty. 
do a buff over it so it smooths it all out. And there you go, you're done. You can leave it like that and just go about your day. You can put clear nail polish over it. You can do a full manicure, whatever you want. I have quite a few broken nails. I'm rehabbing my nails from a too aggressive use of an e-file. So I have some on this thumbnail, on this finger, and on this finger. And you know what? I have changed my nail polish three or four times. Um, and I take my nail polish off with acetone and I have not yet had to redo the patch. So you, you don't have to worry about that. You can do that. So let's get started. Make sure I'm using the nail glue and not the resin. Yes, I'm actually gonna throw this away because I don't feel like it worked for me. So if this works for you, um, give me a hint on how you use it because I do have three bottles of this. So give me a hint on how you use it. Um, that is my son who just finished his painting. Uh, so we're gonna put nail glue on. And you know, you don't have to be super precise because we are going to uh, you know, buff it away later. Um, it's not like, you know, with the tea bag method, you have to be fairly precise. And I have old eyes. I struggle with eye strain. And sometimes seeing those little tiny uh, bits of tea bag is, is difficult for me. Okay, tap off the powder. No, don't touch my phone, please, bud. Um, and then we're gonna put some glue on and then I'm gonna let it dry. Usually it takes a few minutes for me. You just put the glue right over, right over what you just did. We're gonna let it dry and then I will be back to file and buff. And we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're back. We're gonna file this up. Glue has dried. We're gonna shape it up, buff it out so that it's, uh, smooth and we will be good to go okay buff the, we're gonna file the side so it looks like a fairly normal nail get your buffer whatever kind of buffer you want this is just what i had on my desk so we're going to use it and you can see i put quite a lot of glue on so this may take a while um and my son is sitting behind me on my chair watching uh, probably alphabet lore. He does love alphabet lore. Um, but you can see, see? Crack is not, crack is not there anymore. I mean, it's there, but it's glued together and it's ready for manicure. As long as we can smooth out that giant mountain of glue that I put on, we will be good to go. Try, try not to use as much glue <laughs> as I did. It's really kind of annoying. To, to have to buff so much. I mean, if you don't use as much glue, you won't have to buff. I um, let this dry for about 10 minutes. I went and cleaned up my son's workstation where he did his painting and uh, finished taking the dishes out of the dishwasher. And by that time, it was very solid. And you can see the crack is right here. It's right there. But it, oh God, as I push and pull on it, it's it's staying glued together. Um, so this is my new favorite way of fixing a broken nail. Um, and I do this because it's quick, easy. Um, I don't have to worry about keeping, keeping up with little teeny pieces of tea bag. Although the tea bag method with um, either a gel base or or glue is fabulous. I find that for me personally, tea bag with tea bag with um, gel base, just regular gel polish gel polish base, um, is fabulous. Um, however, I'm not in the habit of taking gel base and a lamp with me in my purse or anywhere for that matter, anywhere other than my bathroom. Uh, this, this I can throw in my purse and I can fix my nail if I need to so I don't have to worry about ripping um, because nothing hurts worse than getting a crack really low and then it rips before you can fix it and then you've got 
a whole new set of problems to deal with. You know, you can get an infection if it's not taken care of properly. It can just bleed. It can hurt. Um, and you know what? We don't need to suffer that much for, for nails, right? And you can see I do have some glue here on the tip of my finger that I'll just end up picking off. Uh, you know, just... So there you go. All done. Yes, you can see the crack, but it's pretty strong. I will end up putting some polish on, nail oil, and I think I'll be in some pretty good shape. So that needs some buffing right there. So thank you for joining me. I hope you found this helpful. I will link everything I can in the description below. Um, and if you do want to see other methods of nail, of fixing a broken nail, uh, please let me know. I'm, I'm happy to, I'm happy to help. So thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.